Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements regarding World Trade Organization. The WTO was established with the signing of Marrakesh Agreement. All the members of the United Nations Organization hold the membership of WTO too. As we have to select the correct statement or statements, only the first statement is correct. Option A is the correct answer. The US has accused China of failing to meet its commitments to the World Trade Organization and says it is exploring new ways to combat aggressive Chinese trade practices. The agreement establishing the WTO, commonly known as the Marrakesh Agreement, was signed in Marrakesh, Morocco in 1994. The WTO has 164 members and 23 observer governments, whereas currently the UN has 193 member states. Consider the following statements regarding green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is produced by electrolysis of water using thermal power plants. Electricity splits water into hydrogen and oxygen with vapor, water vapor as a byproduct. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second one is correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, the Ministry of Power has notified green hydrogen, green ammonia policy. It is a step forward towards the national hydrogen mission. Green hydrogen is produced by electrolysis of water using renewable energy and has a lower carbon footprint. Electricity splits water into hydrogen and oxygen and byproducts such as water and water vapor. Hydrogen is one of the most abundant elements on earth for a cleaner alternative fuel option. Less than 1% of hydrogen produced is green hydrogen. Manufacturing and deployment of electrolyzers will have to increase at an unprecedented rate by 2050 from the current capacity of 0.3 gigawatts to almost 5000 gigawatts. Consider the following statements regarding Japanese encephalitis. Japanese encephalitis is a disease caused by a flabby virus that affects the membranes around the heart. JE is transmitted to humans through bites from infected mosquitoes of the Culex species. JE vaccination is included under the universal immunization program of the government of India. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second and third statements are correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, researchers at the National Institute of Animal Biotechnology have developed fluorine doped tin oxide electrode fabricated and reduced graphene oxide to treat Japanese encephalitis virus. And this is a disease caused by flavivirus that affects the membranes around the brain. JEV is also a major cause of acute encephalitis syndrome in India. The disease is transmitted to humans through bites from infected mosquitoes of the Culex species. Safe and effective JE vaccines are available to prevent the disease. JE vaccination is also included under the Universal Immunization Program of the Government of India. Consider the following statements regarding continental drift theory. It was first suggested by a German meteorologist Alfred Wegener in 1912 and there existed a mega ocean called Panthalasa that surrounded Panjay. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. In a recent study, an Indian researcher traced the tectonic evolution and the nature of the Greater Maldive Ridge. It is very crucial geodynamic feature in the Western Indian Ocean whose origin has been the center of many scientific debate. Continental drift theory deals with the distribution of oceans and the continents and it was first suggested by German meteorologist Alfred Wegener in 1912 and according to the theory, all the continents formed a single continental mass, Panjay and Mega Ocean Panthalas surrounded it. Around 200 million years ago, Panjay started splitting and broke down into two large continental mass, Laurasia and Gondwana land. Subsequently, they continued to break into various smaller continents that exist today. Consider the following statements. PSLV delivers the Earth observation or remote sensing satellites into polar orbit. GSLV delivers the communication satellite to the geosynchronous transfer orbit. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. Polar satellite launch vehicle and geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle are the satellite launch vehicles developed by ISRO. PSLV delivers the Earth observation or remote sensing satellites apart from Launching the remote sensing satellites to sun-synchronous polar orbits, the PSLV is also used to launch the satellite of lower mass of about 1400 kg to the elliptical geosynchronous transfer orbit. It is a four-staged launch vehicle with first and third 
stages using solid fuel and second and fourth using liquid fuel. Strap-on motors are also used with PSLV to augment the thrust. GSLV delivers the communication satellites to the geosynchronous transfer orbit of about 36,000 km altitude. Consider the following statements regarding synthetic biology. Synthetic biology like genome editing involves changing an organism's genetic code. It is regulated internationally due to growing military interest in it. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first option is correct. A draft foresight paper on synthetic biology released by the Department of Biotechnology has stressed on the need of national policy for synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is a new interdisciplinary area that involves the application of engineering principles to biology. Synthetic biology to an extent is similar to genome editing because both involve changing an organism's genetic code. However, there is a distinction between the two approaches based on how the change is made. Unlike the nuclear domain, the field of biology or synthetic biology are not regulated internationally despite growing military interest in it. With respect to hemophilia, consider the following statements. Most people who have it are males. There is no cure for hemophilia. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. Unable to bear the cost of treatment of his three-year-old son suffering from hemophilia, a man allegedly strangled his child to death in Uttarakhand. Hemophilia is a rare condition that affects the blood's ability to clot. This means they bleed for a longer time than usual and it is usually inherited. Most people who have it are male and there is no cure for it, but treatment usually allows a person with the condition to enjoy a good quality of life. Man-made clotting factors are given as medicines to prevent and treat prolonged bleeding. These medicines are given as an injection. With respect to the greater one horned rhino, consider the following statements. They can be found in India, Nepal and Myanmar. Their conservation status is endangered. The greater one horned rhino are the second biggest of the rhino species. We have to select the correct statement. Only the third statement is correct. Option D is the correct answer. The Kerala police arrested an alleged poacher from Assam in connection with the hunting of one horned rhino. The greater one horned rhino are the second biggest of the rhino species beaten only by the white rhino. They can be found in India and Nepal, particularly in the foothills of Himalayas. And they are semi-equitic and often take up residence in swamps. The conservation status is vulnerable. Consider the following statements with respect to obstructive sleep apnea. It occurs when the throat muscle relaxes and blocks the airway during sleep and a noticeable sign of it is the absence of any snoring. So we have to select the not correct statement. Only the second is not correct, B is the correct answer. Noted singer, composer Bappi Lahiri, who died at the age of 69, suffered from obstructive sleep apnea. It is a disorder where an obstruction can occur at different levels in the airway, thereby reducing oxygen supply to the body. And this is a sleep-related breathing disorder and occurs when the throat muscles relax and block the airway during sleep and a noticeable sign of obstructive sleep apnea is snoring. We do not have enough data, but an average of 7 to 8% of the population is estimated to have this condition. World Sleep Day is held on March 15. It aims to raise awareness about the sleep as a human privilege that is often compromised by modern lifestyle habits. With respect to a sting jet, consider the following statements. Sting jets are difficult to forecast because of their small size relative to the overall storm. They were only formally discovered following the great storm of 1987. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. Storm Eunice has provided a huge danger to people's lives in Britain. The army on standby after a red, red weather warning has been issued in London for London and Eastern England. A sting jet is a small area of extremely intense wind that can form inside storms passing over the UK, Ireland and parts of northern central Europe. Relative to the size of the storm, they are very narrow, usually only around 30 miles across and tend to last just 3 to 4 hours. They are rare and were only formally recognized when one occurred during the great storm of October 1987. Gusts could reach 90 miles per hour. Sting jets are difficult to forecast because of their small size relative to overall stock. Extended producer responsibility norms for plastic packaging waste have been notified. In this respect, consider the following statements. 
In the case of producers of plastic packaging, the guidelines will apply to 70% of the waste generated now and 100% in 2324. It shall apply only in the cases of post consumer plastic packaging waste. We have to select the correct statement. First is correct, second is not. Is the correct answer? It lays down roles and responsibilities of producers, importers, brand generating plastic packaging waste. Central and State Pollution Control Boards, Committees, Recyclers and Waste Processors in minimizing the plastic waste. EPR shall be applicable to both pre-consumer and post-consumer plastic packaging waste. The guidelines contain specifications for reuse, recycling, use of recycled plastic waste and end-of-life disposal. And in the case of producers of plastic packaging, the guidelines will apply to 70% of the waste generated now and 100% in 23-24. Practice question for the next second. Consider the following statements regarding blue economy. The concept was introduced by Gunter Pauli and it advocates the greening of ocean development strategies for higher productivity and conservation of ocean health. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.